guys. Um, we're back again with another video. You know, obviously I did take a big break um, from YouTube for the summer, and let me tell you, it was great. It was, uh, it was really nice. Um, but I, I took that break because I knew I'd be super busy, specifically super busy with this internship that I just realized I haven't told you guys anything about, not even in the slice. So on June 1st, I started a 12-week internship as a software development engineer at Amazon, uh, specifically Amazon Web Services. Unfortunately, due to the whole COVID situation, my internship was moved virtual, um, but luckily I'm just glad it didn't get canceled um, because I had a lot of friends uh, who got put in tough situations when their internships were canceled for the summer. Um, so I'm really grateful to have this opportunity. So this actually happens to be the last week of my internship, week number 12, and I'm starting my senior year at Yale in less than two weeks, which is terrifying. But regardless, since it was my last week, and I haven't really made too many videos this summer, I wanted to kind of sit down take you guys through what a day in the life of a virtual Amazon software engineer intern looks like um, because I'm going to be gone soon. And for any of you guys that are interested in software engineering uh, or that whole internship process, I thought this would give kind of a good peek into what my experience was like this summer. So let's go. Wait, actually, I want to make it clear that I am expressing my own personal views and experiences at Amazon, and by no means does anything I say in this video reflect the official views of Amazon Incorporated or Amazon Web Services Incorporated, the company. Now we can. So I just so I just logged on for the day. It's about 9:30 a.m. and I'll kind of fill you guys into a little more about what my job actually is. So like I said, I'm a software development engineer intern, which means my main purpose for the summer is writing, designing, and refactoring code uh, for use on the AWS service that I'm working on. Speaking of that service, I haven't really mentioned it, but I'm a proud member of the Cloud HSM team for the summer. Cloud HSM is a team within the AWS Cryptography Division and it stands for Cloud Hardware Security Module. And what is a hardware security module? Well, it is a dedicated standards compliant cryptographic appliance designed to protect sensitive data in transit and use and rest through the use of physical security measures, logical security controls, and strong encryption. Basically, it's a device that will protect any secrets that you want to store in it. Um, kind of like those password journal things everyone was obsessed with in elementary school. And this is my password journal. It's privacy times too. It only opens to my voice, dancer. Obviously, I'm no crypto expert and barely have any experience in that area, but I've definitely learned a lot throughout the summer. Luckily, my main job isn't to actually do the crypto stuff, but rather it's enabling a piece of hardware like an HSM to be available in the cloud to customers around the world. And I do that by writing the surrounding software, including the infrastructure, the APIs, etc. I've been talking for a while and, you know, honestly it took me some time to get all these shots, but my first meeting is at 10.30 and it's a one-on-one -on -one with one of the managers on the team. I've been trying to meet as many people as possible and just set up little meetings with them, especially since we're not in person. Um, it takes a lot more effort to get to know everyone on the team. So I've been setting up little meetings here and there. And uh, so I'm meeting with one of the people that I haven't met with, gonna ask some questions, some questions learn a little more about their role, um, and just see how they fit into the team and see if they have any advice for a budding intern like me. So with that, I'll see you guys soon. So that meeting went great. It was cool to learn about somebody else on the team. But next up is my 11.30, which is my daily stand-up meeting. So like a lot of software companies, Amazon uses the agile principles to guide its software development process. And one of those principles is a daily stand-up meeting um, every day where I get to kind of check in with my team, explain what I've been working on, any problems I've been encountering, and uh, you know, just get everyone on the same page before we really get into work in the afternoon. So with that, I'm pretty sure I should have joined this meeting like a minute ago, but uh, I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, stand-up meeting's done, and it is time for lunch. Um, normally, I don't eat breakfast on these days when I've been working my internship. I haven't really been eating breakfast, but I have been eating breakfast food like around lunchtime and then just doing like two meals a day. Um, you guys probably don't really care about my diet, but I'm gonna go get some food. <laughs> So, I can't even keep the camera straight. It's been too long. 
Um, but anyways, so now it's technically my lunch break. I can really take it whenever I want. Um, that's another thing. I don't have like clear work hours. I just need to put in enough time to get everything I need to get done every day, which depending on how much work I have can be anywhere from like eight hours a day to like some days when I was working really hard. It was like 12, maybe I did have a couple 14 hour days. Um, but most of the time it's pretty reasonable. Um, but normally I'll take like 30 minutes for my lunch break, cook something up. It's so hot. Um, and just throw on like an episode of a Netflix show or something just to relax a little bit in the middle of the day since I've been working all morning. Right now I'm rewatching It's Always Sunny, which is just heinous, so funny. Um, so highly recommend that if you haven't seen it. Um, and yeah, so I'm just gonna relax a little bit. So today is a Thursday and Thursdays are really great days for work because I'm pretty much completely free of meetings in the afternoon. Most of my meetings were this morning. Um, so I pretty much have the entire afternoon to just work, um, which is good because I have a lot to get done right now. I think I might, I might schedule a quick meeting with my mentor because I have some questions on the issue that I'm currently working on. Um, but other than that, it's probably just gonna be a nice peaceful afternoon where I have three, four hours straight to just, just work on stuff and get stuff done. So uh, I'll check in with you guys once I'm done. So it's the next morning. I'm sorry, I completely lost track of time yesterday. Um, I ended up working till around six or seven, grabbed dinner and then spent the evening prepping for school, which is in two weeks and then Camp Kesem, which I'm doing virtually next week. Um, so a lot on the table right now, but I'm happy the internship's almost coming to a close. And kind of as I reflect on the internship and what I thought of it and what I learned, um, there's really kind of three unique things about Amazon um, and AWS specifically that kind of keep coming back to me and like things that I didn't know about that I just came out thinking were so cool. Um, the first of which is just kind of the culture of Amazon. It's kind of quirky and weird. Um, we have a couple things that we say, um, kind of the first one that comes to mind is it's always day one. So even after your first day is over, um, they always want you to kind of bring the day one mindset. Show up fresh-eyed with new ideas every single day, um, ready to bring something cool to the table. It's kind of the meaning behind that. And then also the leadership principles. Um, obviously, like I feel like a lot of companies have kind of principles that they lay out for their employees, but Amazon takes theirs super seriously. Um, and I didn't go to a single meeting without hearing multiple leadership pr principles dropped. Um, and I was, I was just great to see how much they kind of value those principles and hold each other to them. And all, like, a lot of my evaluations were based around those as well. The second interesting thing about Amazon is how many different teams there are and how they all kind of work together. And this is something I heard a lot during my time there, but it's almost like every team at a AWS specifically feels like its own little startup. Um, like we kind of have it, our own flexibility to make our own schedule and kind of move forward. Obviously we have higher ups um, that are, you know, setting requirements and everything, but it's just such a small group of people kind of working together on a single service. And it does kind of, it felt like a lot of people on my team kind of had that startup mindset, which was super cool. And kind of the last thing that's cool about Amazon is the operational focus, specifically if you guys have ever heard the term like DevOps. Um, which means that like the people who are actually developing the code, they don't just pass it off for testing or pass it off um, to like quality assurance where people can actually, you know, take care of it after it's been deployed or deployed for you. Um, we kind of handle the whole life cycle. So we actually have this rotation where people will take a week or two at a time and go on call where they're not developing code at that time. Their actually sole purpose is to fix tickets that we're receiving from the customers and if any of our alarms or kind of metrics are failing that we set for specific actions within the service, they have to investigate those. It's kind of their job to fix everything that's currently going wrong or any problems the customers are currently having. Um, so it's kind of interesting, the balance between developing and then operations and the such the incredibly big operational focus at Amazon. So those were kind of the three big things I took took away from my internship. And it was interesting to see how such a large company can function at such a small level um, on like in context of my own single team and be so successful. In it. So with that, um, I only have a couple more days in my internship. And then I am moving on to the first day of my senior year, my last first day of school, um, which is scary to say. But if you guys have any questions about Amazon, um, software engineering internships, how to study for coding interviews, 
um, anything CS related in general. Those are all kind of video ideas I've been thinking about doing for a while. And I think this video would kind of be a good tie in and lead into those videos as well. Um, so if any of you guys are interested in that, please drop that below because I, I would love to make those videos as well. If you like this video, I know I haven't done one of the day in the life once in a while. Um, please hit the thumbs up button. It helps me and supports the channel a lot more than you think. And if you're new around here and you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I was checking my stats last night and it's something like 85% of the people that watch my videos aren't even subscribed, which is ridiculous. So there's gonna be a lot more coming around soon. So please hit that button for me. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.